Hello, Steve here from FireboxStove.com. Hey, I'm gonna cook some dinner rolls here in my office. I'm gonna do them inside of the 16 centimeter zebra loop handle pot. Now this pot's been equipped with the stainless steel wire clips that enable me to use this as an oven. So then the handle becomes the, uh, the latch for the oven door. So you put the oven door on, and you lock it in place with the handle. I'm going to be using the Trangia alcohol burner as my heat source and then I'm going to be doing it uh, using the folding firebox Gen 2 Nano. Now this is actually the titanium version and this is a four ounce stove uh, and it comes with the nano sticks and the nano sticks enable you to put the Trangia in a highest most efficient position so you can see the Nano requires no assembly. You just unfold it. And then I'm actually gonna put these Nano sticks in place. And they actually go through diagonally. And they have a special shape to them that keeps them from just falling out uh, of these position holes. So I'll show you after I get these both in, then you can shake it around and move it around and these aren't gonna fall out. So it makes it nice, you know, if you're moving things around and they don't just slide out onto the ground. So this position for the Trangia actually puts it at the one inch height from the bottom of the, uh, from the bottom of your pot to the jets on the Trangia is that sweet spot one inch that uh, Hiram Cook recommends. So I'm going to go ahead and put this alcohol stove in its position. So that right there is that sweet spot of one inch. Now I'm going to go ahead and just aim these legs outward. They can be aimed inward for a small cup or a small pot. And then you can put something really small on there like even the cap here. You know, let's see it might just barely reach but you can put something really small on there that way. And then you can also aim these outward. And when you aim them outward for a larger pot or pan, it actually makes the footprint larger as well. So there we go. That, that would even work with something as big as this you know, big old 16 centimeter zebra pot. But I'm actually going to be using it this direction. And I'm going to be setting it up. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and get it set up now so that it's ready to go. But I'm going to set this up with this baking pan inside of it. And I'm going to put the rolls inside this baking pan. Okay, so here I have my little collection of rocks. And I'm just going to set these in the bottom. And these will just collect heat and release heat. They're like a flywheel for heat. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and set my oven in place and then I'm just going to kind of stretch them out a little bit and then I put that tab of butter. That's a lot of butter so these are going to be really good. I'm actually going to go ahead and put the simmering on just to slow that temperature down just a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and take off my oven door and I'm just going to slide my rolls into place there. And so while this whole thing is heating up, I'm hoping that those rolls will rise a little bit. Because I need to I need to get them to rise a little bit. I'll lock my oven door back on. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and take out my rolls because I don't want them to get too hot. I just want them to rise. I don't want them to cook. So I'll go ahead and use my pot grabber and I'm just going to set these in the window seal and let them continue to rise a little bit. And let's just see what kind of temperatures we're reaching with this, with this fire setup. I'm going to go ahead and take off my oven door. And we're over 350 degrees now. Okay, we're 450 degrees now. So we've got a little more temperature than we need in here. 
I'm gonna go ahead and take out my oven thermometer. And this will bring the temperature down quite a bit. But, uh, so I'm gonna watch the temperature. What I have is I've got this little thermometer that's made for Dutch ovens. So you can see it's, it's almost to 200. It needs to be at 175, because this is a Celsius uh, deal. But I have that setting on the top and that'll give me an idea of the temperature that we're running in there. Okay, I've closed the simmer ring on the Trangia just a little bit. Okay, you can see my temperature went down quite a bit. Okay, it's been about 11 minutes, so I'm gonna go ahead and open the oven door and just peek in and see what's going on in there. Okay. It looks like the edges are getting a little bit dark. Let's check it out and just see how dark it is on the bottom. Let's see if I can get one out of here. Oh yeah, they're pretty dark on the bottom. Yeah, I let them get a little bit dark on the bottom. So they're a little past a golden brown for sure. Um, so I could have stopped them probably closer to 10 minutes and they would have been a little bit better. Now it's really hot and burning my fingers holding it. But I'm going to go ahead and give these a taste and now that I know that there is such a big temperature difference between the top and bottom, I'll know to stop it a little bit earlier rather than uh, hoping to get that browning uh, on the top. Mm. Yeah, it's definitely cooked all the way through. It's not doughy at all. And it's not dried out either. So, maybe a little more patience with a lower temperature would be the way to go. I'm just gonna go ahead and taste some of this browned area and just see if it's too dark to taste good. Mm. Yeah, it's not bad. You know, it's kind of like dark toast. It's really not bad at all. Mm. Yeah, but nice hot roll. But I think I will try a different pan next time. See if we can eliminate that blockage between the bottom half and the top half. Allow that heat to flow around maybe we'll get those to brown a little better okay i'm gonna try this again i've got three more rolls that i've allowed to raise in this bread pan so this should allow the heat to go around the outside edges and circulate and hopefully it will brown the top so that's kind of what we're shooting for to see if we can get the tops of these to brown so i've still got I've still got the rocks in here I'm just going to go ahead and set that on there and allow it to preheat. Okay, my external thermometer is at about 175 degrees Celsius, which is about 350 degrees Fahrenheit. And I'm going to go ahead and put this uh, fire, or excuse me, grill plate from the firebox in there. And that will sit just above the rocks. I'm going to go ahead and put my rolls in. And uh, you can see there's quite a bit more space around the sides for that heat to flow. So let me get this oven door back on so I don't lose all my heat. Okay, I'm smelling what smells like uh, bread maybe getting a little too done. So I'm going to go ahead and take this out. Excuse the reach there. And let's just see what we have. I I think it's going to be a little dark on the bottom again. We got just a little bit of browning, um, but I did get it a little bit too dark on the bottom again. There's a little bit of butter. Well, this doesn't look quite as dark as last time. Still a little bit dark. Yeah, pretty close. About the same as last time. You know, but I really enjoyed the rolls from last time. Let's see how the middle one looks. 
if I can get it out. Well, it's not quite as bad. It's actually pretty nice. A little crusty, but nothing too bad. Let's see how this front one looks. Oh, and this front one is beautiful. Look at that. That one turned out really nice. But I'd say these turned out really pretty nice. I mean, at least this one. That's beautiful. Let's see if it's cooked all the way through. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's a beautiful roll right there. Yeah, that turned out really nice. Mmm. It's good too. It sure would be good out camping. Okay, I'm trying this again. What I'm doing here is I'm just wrapping my pan with two layers of tin foil. And I'm hoping that this will just create a little bit of insulation. Let's get my rocks spread out. I like to get every rock to actually have contact uh, with the with the stainless steel. And a little, a few more rocks towards the back is okay because my heat is actually uh, more concentrated in the back. So that should work out good right there. Okay, my oven has preheated now, so I'm going to go ahead and open it up and put my rolls in. You can see they've risen a little bit more, so I think that this is going to be the winning combination and they're going to turn out great. So I'll put those in, close my oven door, and I'll set my timer. Okay, let's take them out and see what we have. Okay, that's a little bit better. Nice golden brown. That actually looks really nice. Let's see if we can give you a little more of a close-up view of those. Those look really nice. I'm really happy with that. Let's see if we can work one of these rolls out of here. Now I actually folded the butter into these and everything, so they should be really yummy. Let's see if I can't get that out of here. Come on. There we go. All right. Now that's what I was hoping for. Hey, look at that. That's just beautiful. Nice golden brown on the bottom and a little golden brown on top. Oh man, it's hot. I'm gonna put even a little bit more butter on there because I'm just a butter maniac. I'm just gonna go ahead and slide that off in there. Wow, it's very, very flaky. You see the way that's just flaking there? Oh yeah. Success, finally, third time's a charm. Try, try again. Mmm. Wow, this bottom is very flaky, really nice. A little crust down there on the bottom. Mmm. Wow. Success tastes good. <laughs> well, now I know when I go camping with my family, if I want to bake and only have the heat underneath and not be able to put heat on top, I need to wrap my pan with a little bit of tin foil. And that will prevent me from burning it on the bottom and allow me to brown it on top a little bit. Mmm. Wow, that was delicious. Perfection. Woohoo! Mmm. That is yummy. Well, thanks for hanging in with me through all of these tests and experiments. And please check out my website, fireboxstove.com. Uh, I really appreciate you watching. 
you know, please click like on this video if you did like it and uh, subscribe if you haven't. We have lots of videos like this and I really appreciate comments as well. So join the conversation down below. Thank you everybody. Take care. Bye-bye.